Today on Board Game Coffee, we're bringing you a playthrough of Nightmare Cathedral from Board and Dice. I'm Mark Maya. And I'm Brittany. And this is Board Game Coffee. Let's do this. Alrighty, now, Nightmare Cathedral is coming to GameFound, and it's by Board and Dice. Everything you see here is a prototype, or in its prototype format. So not everything's final, and some things are broken. But, and that's that's because, uh, like, pr prototypes tend to be fragile, and, um, and rhinos like me in China shops tend to break them. <laughs> so... Uh, the final ones are fine. They, you can throw them across the room and they'll be good. Do not throw them across the room. But just so you know, they're, they're more versus, they're, they, they don't break as easy. All right, so Nightmare Cathedral. We're in this like dream hellscape dealio. It's a area control game where we have some development cards to do powers. Now here's the deal. Uh, we've already set this up. There are some things that um, you would do if you were playing this. And that would be like, you. Um, if you notice, me and Brittany all have the, we have these five cards in front of us. And this is a description of our actions, the actions we take on it, that we can take on our turn that are available to us. But each of us has one upgraded action. Now, for me, it's my development action is upgraded. Brittany's is her summon. Summon? Is that right? Summon. Your summon is upgraded. And that is chosen at random. So we pull cards from there until that shows up. And then we d deal out some cards at random. That's all done. So we took care of that to begin with. Now, although this isn't a how to play video, we will be talking through our moves so you can follow along. Now, there's a lot going to this game. So I'm just going to kind of give you an overall picture of what's happening. And, uh, and I'd like to bring some, like to mention some stuff up front. First of all, if we make any mistakes, you can let us know in the comments, but we can't do anything about them now. Uh, <laughs> the gameplay, you'll still get the idea, but mistakes are mistakes. They happen when you play, and when you record them, there's no taking it back. Um, the other thing is, prototype, mentioned that already, we are going to be playing a basic version of this, which means that there are certain aspects of cards, like this little cathedral symbol here, that we won't be using. Uh, because they're still kind of flushing out how that works. Uh, I, there was a four early urge, early version I played where that's the only time you could build a cathedral, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Okay, so here's the gist. It's a worker placement. Not a worker placement. <laughs> it's an area control. <laughs> <laughs> it's an area control game. And we have these creepy little dudes that are called followers. Now, they're really tiny, so you're not going to be able to really make them, make them out. Um... They are, but if you want to see them up close, you can check out our Expresso video for this. And oh, and these card holders are our own card holders. They don't, they don't come with the, the game. Mm -hmm. um, so we all have followers and our followers, we maneuver them around the board to take control of areas. And the more areas we control, the more stuff we can do. There is a, there are combats that take place that are ha handled like a blind bid situation where we play, place cards face down and flip them over. Guys die and they go to limbo, etc. There is a ritual track that you can work your way up and get points. The, the game is played in... Um, there's five actions available to you, which you select from here. Now, the main thing you need to know is there are these three dark spots. We're, and we're both in the same one. We selected that. Brittany wanted to hitch a ride with me in my, in my dark spot. And we can select any of these actions that are not adjacent to us. So from here, I can select one, two, or three of these. I, I can select either of these three actions. Now, if I was here, I couldn't select these. I can only select the two on the end. Because you can't select anything that you're adjacent to. And when you take an action, so from here, I could go to here because it's not any of these two adjacent spaces. After I complete that action, I go to the night zone, and then next turn, I can't choose those. Now, this has got a bit of an I lead you follow situation where if I chose, let's say I was at the other end, and I chose this action here near Brittany. This is a summon action. I would do my summon action as 
it says as it's indicated on my card or described on my card. And then Brittany, because she's adjacent to me, she can either conform and perform this action uh, and perform the action that conforms to my uh, selection, or she could dissent and perform another action. So basically she has two sub actions she can select from. So basically I choose the primary action and she'll have two actions she can choose from if she's adjacent to the action I selected, which in this case she would be. Now, if I selected the action here where she's not adjacent, she only, of her two options, options, she can only dissent. She can't conform. Now, what that means, you'll learn as we go, because we're going to read through the cards and what they do and what those actions do. The game ends when either this little white disc reaches uh, four. It ends immediately. That's four, that's four turns around yeah. revolutions around the track or we have devoured a certain amount of followers and how that's determined is based on those nightmare creatures that are at the end there we'll get to how that works later that's in the second portion of the game they don't come out for a while okay so now there's a lot going on here and on our turn we start off with i think i mentioned this before we all have the same abilities these have icons on them that conform that match up with these so basically if i chose this one with the double arrow which is the movement icon i just perform the action that's right on my movement card as you upgrade them upgrade them you'll be able to do more stuff so eventually or start the same but eventually they'll not be the same we each have we all start off with three development well, four development cards but we all have this basic combat card so this is a shared card not a shared card like we both have the exact same card now you might notice that this says three plus because there's a bunch of cards that are pulled from the deck if you're only playing with two players. Now, the basic combat card is the same regardless of the number of players, so I just, I just, it's it's buried in the box, I didn't want to take it out. It's the exact same card. So if you see that three plus symbol, don't worry about it. It wouldn't matter if it was on any other card. The basic combat card, it's okay. Alrighty. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and there's these dream cards, which I'm not gonna show you because Britain can't see them. And they're, they, they're like little achievements. Basically, if you can match up, if you can achieve what's written on these cards when they say you're supposed to achieve them, either any time or at the end of the player's turn, etc., it says on the card, you get the points listed at the bottom. But those gotta keep all secrety, all secret-like. You're also gonna see my phone on the table. Now that's because I have the rule book in here because here's the thing. I have played this by myself to just teach myself. I've actually never played a game of this yet. Brittany has never played. I have teach. I have taught her just before this video started. So neither of us have played. We're all noobs. Hence, if we make mistakes, please forgive us. <laughs> and when it comes to the second portion of the game, Brittany doesn't know anything. I haven't taught her that yet. I'll teach her that when we get there. There's not much. You'll love it. It's great. Right, so, I'll give you a heads up. Oh, and we're building this cathedral in the middle. Hence, the Nightmare Cathedral. It looks like this. And we build it up in the center. And when that's built, that's when the nightmares come out. It's cool. I, I, I really I like the building feature. I've enjoyed, like, the one time I played this by myself, I enjoyed it. Even though I played against Siri, and just to, to tell you how much of an advantage I might have, I played against Siri. Now, Siri, as in what's on your phone. Now, how you play against Siri is you assign some actions you want to take, and you're going to be like, okay, uh, actions one, two, and three. Uh, Siri, pick a random number between one, two, and three. And then she'd be like, okay. I'm going to pick number two. And they're like, all right, two. And then I just try to do the best with whatever she picked. And then for me, I try to do it. Now, with that method, I lost. <laughs> I, like, I lost terribly. <laughs> so, not cool. Um, so, let, let's just go. Let's go through this. Yep. We'll go through the motions and we'll talk it out. And you guys will learn as we go. Because there, there's a lot to the game. But it's actually... There's a lot to it, but it's very simple. I taught you... Fairly easily. I think it's because everything's written in front of you. Mm -hmm. So let's do this. I am going to go first because we have our little um, turn marker here. And then we have these little color tokens that are around the board. So it's brown, green, brown, green, brown, green. Because it's basically my turn, Britney's turn, my turn, Britney's turn. And when you have more players, there's more colors. Which is great because it's easier to keep track of like whose turn it is. Mm -hmm. Alright. So I'm going to go first. Now since I'm in this shaded area, I cannot choose these two day abilities. So I have to choose one of those three. So let's say the first thing I want to do is 
Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to develop. Let's say I want to develop. I don't even know what my cards are, but we, we just want to go through this. This is not about winning. Well, it's more, if I win, it's okay. If I uh, win, it's fine. It's more about just having fun and, and me winning. He says that now. Yeah. <laughs> Your camera's there. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> It's so long. Okay. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I'm gonna move from here all the way over here. So, which is the sorry, I want there. Eh, I want the last one. Yeah. Which is the development. Okay. Now, I find it easier to not put it on the icon that way. When you can see it. When you get the option to respond to that, you mm -hmm. can see what it is. Okay. So, my development is actually the card that's my ability that's upgraded, and it says. The portion, because it says a lot of things, but the only only the top portion applies to me, Jurt one on the active player. And it says, play up to two cards. That's when it's referring to cards, it's developing cards, which are the big ones. Um, play up to two cards. A maximum of one of these may be an upgrade. Then draw a card. So I can play up to two cards. So here's the thing. I do have an upgrade, but it's another upgrade to my development. And there's difference. And I don't know if I want to do this. Ooh, maybe. Mm. No, I'm not gonna use this one. I don't want to tell Brady what this is. It's a development card. Oh, I can tell you because I'm not gonna use it. Because basically, I can upgrade my card to d draw three instead of two. But then the abilities that I get on your turn aren't as good. So I'm just going to not use that one. Uh, okay. So to be honest, I should have read my abilities before I decided that I wanted to play cards. Because my cards are not the greatest at this moment in time. But you know what? We're about committing, right? There's no turning back. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go. So first thing I'm gonna do is, bam! I am going to produce two shadows in an area under any player's control, resolve one conflict. So here's what I'm gonna do. Shadows are the non-player characters. They're these little gray things that are around. We can fight them, they control areas, but they're pretty much, they only react to us. They don't do anything on their own. So I'm going to produce two shadows in an area under any player's control, then resolve one conflict. So I'm going to place these two in Brittany's zone, and then I'm going to resolve a conflict. Now here's the thing, when you resolve a conflict, even though I triggered it and I'm the one resolving the conflict, it can be any area where there's two opposing parties. So in this case, Shadows and our green player character, which is Brittany. So the area I'm gonna to choose to resolve the conflict is this area here. Now we're gonna now we're gonna learn about conflict. <laughs> How conflict works is Brittany, since she has two units, that's what the followers are considered units, she has two units in that area, she can play up to two of her development cards and then the shadows will respond by playing their, I can't remember what they're called, but they have their own battle cards. They'll play that, but she has to pick first. So you can play up to two cards because you have two units. You can play one card if you want. Okay. Okay. So you can, you can. Hold, hold on one second. Just now remember, all that, mat all that matters when you're playing. Now here's, here's the thing. Brittany's going to pick two cards. Now the only things that matter on the card she's playing are the images at the bottom. And there's only two different types. There's uh, damage and a shield, mm -hmm. which blocks the damage. So Brittany, if you could place your face up right there. Now normally if it was Brittany fighting me, we would both put him face down and then we would reveal and it'd be like we'd see what we'd do. That's where the blind bidding comes in. But against the NPC characters, the non-player characters, we do this. So Brittany chose Two, well, said before, she chose these two cards. Now the text is irrelevant. It's these symbols at the bottom. So she chose three attacks. She's being very aggressive. So now what we do for the shadow characters is we flip one card over of theirs and put it right here. And I'll describe how that works. Let's do it this way because it's actually a proper, it's right side up. Oh, right. It's that way. So since we have two shadows, we look at the second line that says two shadows. So it's two oh. attacks. So what happens here is we resolve this at once. So I did. So the shadows did two attacks, so it kills Brittany's characters, and she did three attacks, which kills the shadow characters. Now the shadows, when they die, just go over to the supply, the shadow supply. When Brittany's characters die, they go to limbo. That's so sad. Oh, you knocked over oh, your shoulder. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. So Brittany has lost control of that because she got attacked by shadows. So 
Things happen. I'm so angry. Now, there is a defeat. There's a victory condition and a defeat condition. Now, if Brittany would have won, let's just cover this one time. If she would have won, it would it said produce up to two. Now, anytime you oh, it says produce up to two followers. A lot of times you'll just see the term produce two. That means just produce two followers. So produce up to two followers in any area that is empty or under your control. So you would have gotten two extra followers for nothing. That would have been pretty good. That would have been pretty good. So now, but she got defeated. So good doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's too soon. Uh, add one shadow to each area adjacent to the cathedral. So that's what's happening. So Brittany, that screws up for everybody. So you screwed us all, Brittany. Yeah. So Michael. if you could put this under the pile. Okay. And these two, these two cards that Brittany used, uh, oh, used your basic combat. So the basic combat card, you get back. It goes back to your hand. That's a, you can never get rid of your basic combat card. And then the other one gets discarded in the common discard pile. So the last condition was we're adding, here, the cathedral is this middle area, so we're adding one additional shadow to each of these spaces that are adjacent. You did that, you just caused chaos. You lost the battle. If you won, this one would have happened. Did that one have two already? No, they all had, they all had one. The okay. two ones are the outside oh, perimeters. Okay. Now, shadows of control. Now another thing you should note is that there are two units in these spaces. There can only be a maximum of three units of any one color in a space, but these guys, these, these are called shapers, these things with wings, they don't count as a unit. So if I had three of my brown guys here, I could have them there, he'd be fine. And also, when you're moving, you can move into a zone with an opposing color, but you cannot move out of a zone with an opposing color, unless you're the shaper. The, the rules don't apply to them. Okay, and they also don't count as a unit for combat. All right, so that was me playing one card. Let's see what my next card is, because I, my ability says I get to play two. Hmm. I'm just going to do this. It says, because there's two types of cards you can have in your hand. Develop or ploy. So I play two ploys. This says, climb up one step on the ritual track. That's this track down here. Then you may discard two cards to climb one gray step or one blue step. Which I'm not going to discard two cards because I have two cards in my hand. And you know one of them is a basic combat card, which you can't discard. So I'm just going to go up one. And I can't see them for a little bit here. So I just go up one on the ritual track, which is great. And it says I move up one gray, so if I was near blue, I couldn't go up. Now, moving up one on the ritual track right away, that does nothing right now. But as you go up, there's little prizes like points, free movements, uh, building fortresses, etc. So, that was my development phase. That, so I performed the action that I selected. I'll talk through these less as we go. Yeah. Um, now... Uh, I get to look at my dream cards, and I have two, we both have two, I can discard any number of those dream cards I want to pick up one of the dream cards that are face up, and then I draw back up to, sorry, I get rid of cards, I can get one or one or two, and then I draw back up to two, either what I can see or what is on the top pile. Now I'm just going to take a little look at what my cards are. Okay, so I'm going to keep mine, so I don't, I don't want to trade them out. And the next thing, and this is where I start referring to the phone. If I had more than eight development cards, the big ones, I have to discard down to eight, but you cannot get rid of the basic combat card. That one's stuck with you for life, but it counts towards your hand. Do the dream cards include no. no, development cards are the only eight you can. Okay. The next thing you do is resolve end of turn effects. Now, that's usually where your dream cards come into effect because they'll have end of turn effects. If you have any dream cards that trigger now, you can use them as well. Now, because they'll probably say, like, at the end of any player's turn, if this happened. So maybe yours says, if you lost terribly to some shadows and it was embarrassing for you, you get some prize of some sort, some pity, a Pay trophy back. maybe, Pay back. a little plastic Pay thing back. with a boot on it. You've only got once. Remember <laughs> this moment. Remember so, this moment. And then after that... Is that going to crush you? After this, now, Brittany gets the chance to uh, do the secondary function of her cards. So since I chose development, she looks at her development card, and, but since although I'm not adjacent to her, she can't choose the conform ability. She can only choose the descent ability. So what is your descent ability? Draw on? one card, please. So you get to, is that all? It doesn't have two options? It's just one draw one card? just draw one Okay. And now here's the thing you should know. I went to maneuver and I chose maneuver. But if you go on any of these abilities, you don't have to trigger the ability. Instead, you can just choose to draw two cards. 
So you can skip doing the ability and just choose two cards. But if you do that, your opponent still gets an option to trigger their secondary functions of their cards. They either get to conform or descent. So that was your descent. Your descent said draw one card. Yes. Okay. Develop. So, develop. Your, no, descent. Yeah, descent. descent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Descent. On your development card. So then I move to the shadow area. So then I'm done. And that's my turn. Well, you've completely then, changed my turn. And then this moves over there. I had a plan. Did you? Was your plan dying embarrassingly by some shadows? Shadows. Shadows, Brittany. Mm. They're not even real people. They're shadows of people. I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Well, right you now. should be as embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for you. Okay. I'm going to... Which ability oh, do you want to use? You can fortify, you can move, because you can fortify, move, or, de or develop. What you can't do is perform a ritual or summon. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, develop. Move your dreamer to the develop area. No, I'll get it for you. I'll get it there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I get to play up to two cards, a maximum of one, maybe an upgrade, then draw one card. So, my first card is I'm going to upgrade a card. I'm going to upgrade. upgrade my Fortify card. Okay. We're not going to go over what all the upgrades do. She'll tell us what it does when it gets When it. I get to it. Because yeah. there's so much text on there, it would just take forever for us to go over each of those. Yeah. And then I'm going to play this ploy card. It says, convert up one unit in an area adjacent to your shaper. Hold on. Put it, the card oh. there so we can see. <laughs> Sorry. So, now read that. Convert up one unit in an area adjacent to your shaper. Draw one card. So up this, to one. Oh, okay. This is adjacent. To adjacent. Your so hold on. Bring your shaper is the thing with the wings. Convert means she can take a unit. So she's targeting the, the shadows. So take a shadow off. Yep. She takes a shadow off the board and she replaces it. She basically converts it to one of her followers. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's what shapers do. They they fly around convincing people to. Uh, switch teams. She can do that to my players too. So if my character was there, she could have done that to my character. Mm -hmm. And then I draw a card. Yep. Uh, doesn't that draw a card too? What does that say? It says draw one card. So that draws a card, and then you're going to draw a card again for your develop action. Correct. Right? Because yep. your yep. develop says draw a card. Yep. So you can draw that. Draw you... one thing at a time. Okay, but you're, you've already played two, two yep. cards, right? So yep. you're good. And then draw one. So I'll okay. take this. Okay. And I'll trash that for you. Okay. So now it's your turn. Nope, now you it's can choose. Your... Nope, now you can choose. Oh, no, not yet. Now you can choose to discard your dream cards. Oh, right. Uh, I'm just going to move for a second now. I'm not going to worry about this. I'm just going to play them. Just for the video's sake, normally I'd be all like where Brittany is, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to play okay. what I have in my hand. Okay, I'll do the same. If these are bad, then I'll get rid of them and I'll look, but I, can, I think these are achievable. Mm, mine's not. That's why I'm looking. Okay, I'll just keep. You gonna keep what you have? You yep. can trade them if you want. No, it's fine. Okay. Um, all right. So when she trades them, she would take any number of them, put them um in the discard pile, and then draw either from the top or any of the f ones she can see. She can draw up to as many cards as she discards. Okay. So, or up to two. So now that you've done that, you don't have eight development cards. So now we go to the end of turn. If anything has happened, end of phase stuff, do you have any end of turn cards that trigger? No. Okay. So now we get to do my, uh, you chose development. So now I get to either conform or descent because I'm adjacent to you. Okay. Um, I think I might. Oh, I could conform, which sounds pretty good, but it's play two cards and upgrade and I only have... I don't have any cards. So I'm going to draw two cards. Because my descent, because my, my development's upgraded, so I get to draw two cards. One and two. So, and then you put your person in the shadows, in the night space. Okay. Um, I think I caught a mistake number one. What would you, what'd you do? What'd you do? What'd I do? What'd you, you? We didn't build the cathedral. Oh, right. Here's the thing. At the end of every player's turn, in the basic game, because that's what's called basic, you take a piece of the cathedral in the in order. There's an order. There's a path here, and you start building it, 
in the center. Now, and then if there was a bonus under there, which there isn't, you would, everybody would get that starting from the active player. So that would have been my piece, and this would be Brittany's piece. So luckily, the first two pieces don't award you anything, so nothing's changed. The, now, the, the now, little people me, on there. Let me explain. Sorry? These aren't little people. These are player counts. Oh. If you're not playing a basic game, you wouldn't have these pieces on here unless you were playing three player and four player. You would put them over here, so the game would start like this. Okay. But since we are playing a basic game, they all go there. And I believe here's the thing: um, we were asked not to play the base, not to play the advanced game because they're still working the the details of that out. But I believe because the first rule book I read didn't have a basic game option. It um, it was when you play a dream card, certain dream cards, like this one here, has like two cathedral bits. When you play that, when you achieve that, you get to take two cathedral bits and put, it, put them on the center, but only you get the rewards underneath it. Mm. So it, was, it could make the game go longer. This actually makes it go faster because it forces you to build the cathedral yeah. instead of having to make an achievement. I like it that, that way, but I'm going to play the basic because if it's not balanced properly, then I don't want to mess anything up. Yeah. So... I will play it. But I liked it with that. Like, that's how, when I played it for myself, I played it that. That's why I'm forgetting. Okay, so yeah, that goes. Okay. So that's why I'm confused, because I got Say, old. I thank got you, old Brittany. Rules. You are on the ball. You are on the <laughs> balls. Um, what is the symbol underneath there, by the way? Oh, it is the tombstone. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I have here? I'm going to maneuver. I can't maneuver. It's right there. I'm going to. China is going to what I can do. I'm gonna fortify. I wanted to maneuver, but that was it's right there. I can't do that. So fortify. I can spend I can spend one follower to build one fort level, or I can spend three followers to build two fort levels in an area I control. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to spend and the followers you spend, it's like I could spend two from, or one from here and build there. So it doesn't have to be in the same spot. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna spend one, two, three, three followers, put them back in my supply, and then I'm gonna build two forts. I'm gonna put two there. Now here's the thing about these four levels, they stack, which is pretty cool. And if you get them just the right way, they stack perfectly. Come on. There you go. So I've got two four levels there. And um, so now when you lose a battle, it's hard to lose a battle if you if you control a fort there. Well, that's pretty good. So that's my fortify. I'm done. I spent three characters to build there. So now I can just uh, get rid of my dream cards. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of this one. So I'm just going to put it underneath. I don't know if it gets... I don't remember if there's a discard pile. No, there's a discard pile for dream cards. Don't put it underneath. Don't do that. Don't, what, I, what I did, don't do. Okay. So let me see what I... Oops. <laughs> the cards all mixed up. What's happening? <laughs> okay. That's a discard pile. Okay. Let's see. Uh... So I'm getting rid of one, because I think the other one is doable. Uh, so I'm drawing that one. And as soon as you draw, you fill it up. So if I was taking two, I could take one and then see what it is. What does that one say? This one says, anytime, have at least two upgrades. That's a pretty easy one to get, but it's only worth one point. So the easier they are, they don't, much, they don't give you much. So I got my... I changed my card up, and uh, okay. And now it is the end of turn effects, which none of my stuff can trigger. So let me knock this over. That's my basic card. Uh, now, Brittany, you can trigger your secondary functions for fortify. So you can do your descent for fortify. Okay, it says spend one of your followers to build one fort level in an area under your control. I can't do that because this is the tie right now. Um, fort level, you can build it on your on your main one. Oh, no, I'm good. He says you have to spend two followers, right? One. One. Oh, that's the upgrade. You got an upgrade. Yeah. Because in the basic one, you have to pay two followers to build one. Oh, one, one follower. Or a draw card. Get a draw card. Yeah. That's a pretty good upgrade because it's pretty cheap. 
Okay. And now, move the turn token. Okay. And I only have four cards, so build. I don't have to discard anything. And build. Okay, so now, there was a bonus. So the bonus here is one follower in an area I control. So I'm going to place first, and then Brittany places. So I'm going to go there, and then Brittany gets to do the same. So I don't have a choice? Yes, that's because you only control one area. Mm -hmm. And I can only have three, right? That's the max? Three maximum units right now. Okay. Well, it depends. Your fortify is what upgrades. Does it say anything at the bottom about units? It does. Unit limit three or one area with four. So yeah. it could take me Not time. or. It says you, you, your, you, oh, your unit three. limit is three, but you can have one area that has four units in it. Okay. That's what happens when you go to fortify your upgrade card. Mm -hmm. Or upgrade your fortify card. Okay, so we're done. Here we go. Right. I can't just pick what I want. I have to base it you on You can't pick those two. You, have right. one, you, have, you can pick these three. Anything you're not adjacent to. So that would be summon or perform a ritual. Or fortify. Or fortify, which you can't do. Well, you could. You could build up your fortress. And just so you know, if anything refers to your fortress, this is your fortress, the one that has this little ring around it. Everything else is a fort and fort mm -hmm. levels. Okay. But this is your fortress. Okay. And I... You can never lose control of this. Okay. Your home base. I wanted to do something and I can't do it because I'm on the wrong end. This makes me makes me sad. Um, okay, I'm, I guess I'll fortify. So I'll spend. Move your move your dreamer. Sorry. Nice try there. Over here. <laughs> um, so I'll spend. It says spend zero or two. Yeah, so you could, you could spend no, no followers and just place a fort level down in another area you control. Or you can spend two followers and put two in the areas you control. So you just spend nothing. Nothing and put and build this. And just build one there. Okay. It does turn. It does lock perfectly if you just get the right angle. Oh, I think you went too far. There oh, we you go. did it. You got it. I could Good feel job. it. I could Good feel job. it. It was in the next turn. Okay. That's it. Okay. So you're done. Your fortify. It does nothing else. No. Nope. So now, uh, since you're right beside me, I can draw one card or play one upgrade. Oh, you know what? I want to play an upgrade. Or I can spend two followers to build one fort level in the area under your control. Hmm. No. I'm going to upgrade. And I'm going to upgrade my fort. That's exactly what I want to do. Oh, before I got to do that, sorry, you have to dump your dream cards if you want. Oh. Um, that happens first. I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to take the... You want this yeah. one? <laughs> you want to put uh, another card there? Take that. There you go. Ah. Guys, what are you doing? You're ruining everything, <laughs> Brittany. My God. Go, 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 go. All right, hold on. So, no, no, go, go, go. Don't rush. You did the dreams. Yep. You have no end of turn things you want to trigger. Right? Correct. And uh, you, have, you don't have more than eight development cards? Correct. So, you're good. So, now you go into here and you build one of these. And you triggered uh, the Shaper. So that means the Shaper, you get to move your Shaper one space. Full free. Oh, it's a good call, good call. Now, the you don't get that either? Yeah, I do, I get that. The reason Brittany went there is because she can confer, convert that gray into uh, green and then she'll control that area. Because the Shaper doesn't count as a unit, so it doesn't help her there. So she couldn't even move here, because the Shaper here by himself is nothing. And there, he doesn't count as a unit for that. So I'm going to move my shaper over here. I'm going to do the same thing you did on the opposite side of the board. OK, so that is that. Now it's my go. Oh, uh, could you move the token turn track? Excellent. OK, OK, OK. OK, I am going to do a summon. 
Hey there, Mark from the future editing bay of the Nightmare Cathedral playthrough. Now, what you just saw was me make an error. I moved my dreamer onto the perform ritual space, and I said I am going to do a summon, which is what I do. I got the spaces confused, but I was wrong. I actually couldn't do a summon because my dreamer started in a space adjacent to the summon space. So what I should have done here was performed a ritual, but I didn't do that because I'm on the ritual track. So instead I did a summon. So I made a mistake or I cheated, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I know Brittany would call it cheating. I, I would if she did it, but if I did, it, it was an honest mistake. Anyways, we're going to continue. We can't change it now. So enjoy the rest of the playthrough. And, um, th and, and, that, and that's it. I, I apologize. You know, it says each of your forts produce two. Each marked area produces one. So, my forts produce two. Now, when we're talking marked areas, the marked area for this round is this tombstone. So there's a tombstone here. So this produces. The person who produces it is the person who controls the most there. Now, I control the most here, but I'm at my max. I'm maxed out. Oh no, I'm not, because I have a fortify upgrade. So that means I can have one area that has four. So since I'm here and I control, I can get one more. That's the area, that's the only area I can have right now with four. But if I move this guy from here, then that's the only area. So, mm -hmm. so there's only one. And then this tombstone area is controlled by shadows. So the shadows get uh, produce. And then, because that's what it was, right? What did I just, where did, I, where did that come from? Oh, that was my summon. And then uh, you produce there. So, and you, ha you have a limit of four in one area too, right? I can produce? Yeah. Okay. And since you have the fortify card that allows you to have one area that has four, mm -hmm. you can do that. Nice. Okay. Because that was my summon. Okay. So I did the summon so I could look at my dreams. And none of them are go I'm not I don't get rid of any of them. I'm happy with all of them. And I don't have eight cards. I'm not gonna now we go to the end of turn phase. This is where you can use either of us can do end of turn things. Or we can, and you can trigger your, um, for you it would be your descent, because you're not adjacent to me. Mm -hmm. I like the mechanic of the, like, if you're adjacent, you get two options. If you're not, you only get oh, one. Oh, for the summon, sorry. Summon. I zoned out there. I get to climb one step, gray, on the ritual track. That's your descent, eh? That's pretty good. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> for a little bit, I'm not going to be able to see the ritual track until we get further up, because it's carries. Mm -hmm. Um, so then Did you build? I go here. Did no, I didn't build yet. Okay, so that goes there. Ooh. And the bonus is, oh, we each get a fort. We get to add one fort. I believe that's what that means. I will confirm because I have some notes, some cheater notes here. Oh, no, it's not a fort. Not a fort. That's a great spot. My eyesight couldn't see that far. So each player may climb one gray step on the ritual track. So I'm going to go this one. Which one do you want? Same one? I'll do the same. Okay. Alrighty. So I thought it was a, I thought it was like a castle symbol, but it's not. It's too far from me. Oops. There you go. I almost played got to your Disney playlist. <laughs> <laughs> bath time for Yeah, bath time for Xavier. Xavier. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think I'm done. Uh, we went through all the steps, right? I don't have any cards. I'm not doing my dream things. End of turn. We built a building. It's your go. Okay. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay. I am going to develop. It says play up to two cards. My first card I'm going to play says perform up to two conversions in a single area adjacent to your shaper then resolve one conflict okay so i am going to turn so either those two or those two these two i'll take them yeah over here into my little dudes nice um then resolve one conflict that can't be a conflict and mm. yeah you have to resolve you, I thing have, is, you I have, have to. to resolve a conflict okay so that's me then so if it said resolve three conflicts you have to resolve three conflicts if there's three available to come so that's you 
So you can only play one card. Okay. And now, so reveal your card to the team. Hold on, let me just make sure. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this because you're done with this, right? Yeah. And now reveal your card. Okay, one claw, you did your basic. Now flip that. What are they doing to you? Oops. One basic. Oh, you guys killed each other again! Uh, <laughs> limbo. You put that in the bottom. Yeah, your character goes in limbo. So next time you perform, because you have three characters in limbo, limbo. next time you perform a uh, ritual, you get to sacrifice those three to move up one step on the track. Okay. Oh, this is your basic card. It goes back in. Okay, so now okay. you get to play three, two cards? Yeah, so you get to play them on. Oh! Was that upgrade? I'm upgrading. Uh, my maneuver. I'm upgrading my maneuver. Okay. Upgrading your maneuver. Which I'm really excited for. Do you get more move points? Yeah, six. Mm, nice, because you start with four normally, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So, you've done that, and you can dump your dream cards to, for oh, new ones? Hold on, I was developing. I still get one more thing. Oh, you draw uh, Maximum of one can be an upgrade, then draw one card. Okay, try it. Yeah, yeah. Boop. All right, so now you can get rid of your dream card, any dream cards you don't want. I'm good. Uh, alrighty, so you went there. I'm end of turns for me, not doing anything yet. But I will. You did a development, so I get to draw two cards. It's pretty sweet. That's what I needed, because I'm short on cards. Ooh, what are you? Alrighty. So that was the end of your turn. Yeah. Grab that piece. And that piece goes here. Well, technically, would. <laughs> I think I just put it in the wrong order. It doesn't matter. It'll, it'll get built. Because <laughs> it should be the ends and going forward, but that's fine. Because the ends are over here. So I just I just put them in the wrong it spot. Is what it is. That's fine. It's going to build the same. Okay, so uh, we each place a follower in an area we control. Know your limits. Okay. I can't. Because I control these two areas and they're both maxed out. So, nothing for me. Boo. Alright. So, that is all. We, this moves. And I'm gonna go movement. I need to get my guys moving. So, for me, my maneuver is I get four movement points. Eh. One, two, three. Four. So four movement points. And then I can perform a convert in my shaper's area. So I'm gonna convert that guy into a follower. And then I resolve three conflicts. So I'm gonna resolve a conflict there with those two a-holes. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm only playing two cards. Even though I can play up to three, I'm only playing two. So, the two I'm playing are my basic combat and this ploy that gives me three attack. Nice. So, four attack total. Flip their card and let's see what the second row gives me. Okay, so they attack, so they kill two of my guys and I kill all, I kill two of their guys. Technically, I'd kill four of their guys, but. So, I'll take their shadows and my guys go to limbo. But I still have one guy there, so I still have control. So that was victory for me. And I climb one step on the ritual track. One gray step. So I can't move this one to there, so I'll just put this in there. So my basic combat card comes back, and this one goes here. So now I have to resolve another one. I'm going to resolve here. I can place up to two again, because I have two units, versus their one. So I'm going to do... These two. So I'm going to use my basic again, because it goes to my hand every time I mm -hmm. after combat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play this development upgrade, which I don't want anyways, because I like the development upgrade I have. Three attacks. Flip one card. Oh, we didn't put this away. That goes underneath. And, oh, that little dick. It's okay. He, he actually has a block and an attack. So he blocked one, but it's okay. I still did not kill him. So, limbo for me. But now I also control this guy, so victory as well. So spend one follower from the conflict area to climb one gray or blue step on the ritual track. Oh, okay. 
So check this out. This goes underneath. So I get to sp so because this was the conflict, I get to spend yeah. one follower from here. Yeah. So I will spend this guy to go up a blue space on the ritual track. And now, which is good because to move up the ritual track, you have to sacrifice people from areas that these marked areas. So I'd have to spend two to get into this zone. I spend one from this area, which is looks a uh, the T zone looks like a skull or something, and then the looks like an animal skull, and then the tombstone area. But since I have that ability, I get to just move up for blue, and I get to choose this three movement. I get three M three movement points. I don't get this because this controls nightmares, and those don't come out until the second portion of the game. Um, so base combat there, cards there, and I get three movement points. So I'm gonna go one, two, and three. Oh no! Do you always have to have a person at your base? Nope. I'm gonna go one, two, and then three. Okay. I get over there. Okay. Pretty good. So that was my three movement points I got for my reward. And what did I do? That was a maneuver. So I resolved three. I have to resolve three conflicts. So I resolved two, and there's no third to resolve right now. So if I did move this guy in here, I'd have to resolve a conflict. Mm. So it's good that I did. This guy does not do conflicts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm I'm done my maneuver. Okay. So that means I do dream cards now, which um, I can toss them. I'll keep them. I don't have over eight cards. Uh, I don't have any end of turn things. Do you have any end of turn things? No. Okay, so you can play yours. I get to draw two cards. You get to do either, right? Conf yeah, I'm okay. gonna draw. I'm gonna do my descent. And draw two cards, please. Boop. Okay. Cool. Now it's the end of my turn. We do this. Oh, I go here. Oh no! Oh, but it fell there. Let's do a little break dance move. Okay, so building up the I'm so excited to see it, but I'm also <laughs> terrified. It's, it's scary <laughs> stuff. Okay, so I place my thing, and the way we unlocked is I can move the shaper. Each of us can move a shaper in one area, in one direction. So I'm gonna move a shaper in this direction. Where are you gonna move your shaper? Okay. Okie dokie. So, uh, that is it. And the bonuses we're getting is listed here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it is, we move this over, it's your turn. Okay. I am going to maneuver. I receive six move points. Ooh. Um, so I'm going to do that first. No, move your maneuver. Your first thing you do is, you can't maneuver. You're adjacent to it. It's unfortunate. Somebody should have blended ahead. Not this guy. Uh, Alright. I will climb. I'm going to perform a ritual. Move your dreamer. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> move your dreamer. Ritual. Okay. Climb on the ritual track. Climb one step so to the great... This, uh, I want to explain this one because it works a little differently to the audience, not to you, you know how it works. It's got two steps. You can climb uh, on a gray and blue step for free. Easy peasy. And then the next step is you can spend followers, any of your followers, to move, up on the st move into the space that matches that symbol. But you can do those in any order. You can't keep jumping back and forth between them. So she could spend followers first and then do get the freebie, or get the freebie and then spend followers. Mm -hmm. Where in the case she's in, she's probably better off taking the freebie because it's expensive to get into that space. Yeah. And how does, does the limbo thing work? Again? Limbo is um, you spend those three to move one space. Okay. So you can do whatever you want. That's another thing you can do. And it doesn't matter which, like three of them will get, move you one space regardless of the color. Okay, so I'm gonna climb on the ritual track, I'm gonna climb one step and I'm gonna go blue. That's your freebie? Yeah, it's my freebie. Okay. Um, then I can spend your followers or and units in limbo to climb steps. So you can get, get rid of those three guys, get them back. No, nope, yeah. your guys. Three will move you one space, which is going to get you one point so far at the end of the game. Great. And that is all. Okay, you're not spending any people from... You can do this as many times as you want. So if you had people in this skull area, mm -hmm. You can just set, you can sacrifice one, move to the skull. Sacrifice one, move to the skull. You can technically sacrifice all your people if they line up. Just okay. To move I'm good. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so you're done. Mm -hmm. Dreams. 
Your dreams trigger? Are you getting rid of dreams, I mean? No, I'm good. Okay, so now we're going to skip to the part where I get to take advantage of the fact that you did her. Ritual, and I get to draw one card. It's my only option for Descent. And so you move here, mm -hmm. and we build another piece of the cathedral. So we're going to put this piece back here. It's a cool looking piece, but I'm not putting it here where that camera can see because there's a cooler part that goes there. So I'm going to save that for that. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so this moves. Hey there, it's me again. Now, I just built a part to the cathedral, and there was a bonus below it that let us place shadows, but I we, we just forgot that bonus, so we both forgot to do it, so nobody did it. But at this point, you, we should have been placing shadows based on the piece that we took from the cathedral track. Anyways, that is all. Okay, so I want to fortify. <laughs> so, Fortify. I've upgraded my Fortify, so I can spend zero or two to build one or two forts. So I'm going to sacrifice... I think I'm going to build two. I'm going to sacrifice this and this. So I'm sacrificing two, because now that I've upgraded, it doesn't cost me three. And I'm building forts in areas I control. So one there, and one here. Actually, you know what? Both there. You just took one from over there and yeah, built it here. Matter. It what, doesn't? Build what? The forts? I didn't take that. I took the forts from here. I only had two. I, had I know, but you took a person from over yeah, there and took a person. Matter. You can build it in anywhere you control. And I control oh. that area. So you can build your forts. You can grab them from anywhere on the board, and you can build it in any place you control. Oh, I misunderstood that. Yeah. Oh, that's a... That's... Game changer. A game changer. <laughs> Mark makes fun of me because I always say game changer. It's, everything's a, oh, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. <laughs> okay. I was trying so hard not to say it. I know, I know, I can feel it. <laughs> okay, so I, that was my fortify. That's all I can do, okay. fortify. Uh, now I can dump my cards, which I'm not going to. And you can do, we can do end of turn effects. And you can... Um, Wait, I get to do my thing, don't I? Yeah, that's what you can do end of turn effects in this. Oh. It's the same happens at the same oh, okay. time. Okay. Um, so, oh, I can pick either one, right? Nope, because I'm right beside you. But you're going to... But the arrow's oh. pointing at me. I wasn't beside you, I was there. Oh. So... Well, I'm... <laughs> as if I went from there to there. How did that get moved? You moved it there. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I did a fortify. Okay. So, so you the descent, I get descent. descent. Yeah. So spend one of your followers to build one fort level in the area under your control. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to spend that to get that. Okay. And that is it. And then I've been reading this card wrong. Oh, end of turn thing? My end of turn says, anytime, have at least two upgrades. Yay. You have two upgrades. You have three upgrades. I know. I would have thought okay. it, you had how to play points, two upgrades. How many points you put, play it down so people can see. Oh, sorry. So it's going to give you one point at the end of the game. Yeah. Okay, so just put it face down off to the side. We'll add those up later. Okay. Now, Maybe I, I should put this over here. Now I have some upgrades, uh, some dreams of my own. One is, wapam, forts at the end of any player's turn, so at the end of my turn, have two plus level two forts. Uh -huh. Two level two forts. Nice. How many did you get on that? That's two points. Nice. And if I were, we were building with the other rules, I would build the cathedral piece. Nice. Oh, do I get a dream? Uh, no, it's only during that dream phase. So like right now, I this was the end of my turn, so I don't fill up to two. I have to wait till that dream phase to fill up to two. Okay, okay. Okay, so that was that. You did your thing. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure we're not, we're not forgetting anything. This goes here. I don't have eight cards. I'm gonna build a piece of the cathedral here. No, not not that getting super cool yet. Well, it is getting cool, but I like building this thing. And now we go up one space, one gray space. Boop. I went and you went. Do you want to take this one or that one? Which one do you want to move? Um, I'll go the one that's yeah. Okay. Alrighty. We're almost built a cathedral. Okay. <laughs> um. 
I think this goes faster this way when you build it every turn. Because mm -hmm. when I was playing by myself, it took a few turns before, because you had to achieve these things to build them. Makes sense. And not all of them, like the one you just played, did not achieve a, a piece. Yeah. Makes but sense. that might change, because they're working on those rules right now. Okay. So, uh, this moves. It's your turn. Okay. I am going to maneuver. Now you can. Yay. What are you doing? Get over there. Here. <laughs> I just put you there. Oh, you're all judgy. You're all judgy. I thought you were passing me that. Okay. I get to receive six move points. Okay, where are you going to go, movie? So... I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. five. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And note that once you enter an area with uh, opposing colors, you cannot leave. But they, I don't believe these guys have anything to do with that. And they can leave whenever they want. They don't care. Okay. So, what else does you do? Right. Uh, then perform a conversion in your shaper's area. I'm assuming you're going to take one of those? Yeah. Okay. Then resolve three conflicts. Okay, so that's one, two conflicts. You have two conflicts available to resolve. Okay. What are you going to do? Which one? Are you, which area are you fighting first? Um, I'll fight this one. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Am I ever. Okay, so flip it up and we read the line two. Line two says it attacks twice. I block it. Oh, you block both. Nice. So you block both, so they're dead because you did not damage them. And now let's read your victory. Yeah. Ah, feels so good. Victory feels so good. Victory. <laughs> Spend one follower from the conflict area. It's this area. Okay. To, uh, to climb one step, gray or blue, on the ritual track. You can put that on the discard pile. Um, so you can spend a follower to climb one space. Don't want to do that? Sure. Alright. Done. These get discarded. Oh, you, you keep that one. I, oh, I went up, right? Yeah. Did you move me up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what are you doing now? I have to... Dude, this guy. Oh, conflict, right. We're doing conflict here. Okay. Okay, flip it. You don't have to surprise it. Oh, one shield. What is he going to do? Two damage. Oh, one damage. Okay, so you guys, you guys cancel each other out. Well, oh, but I don't think you won. I, think it's, I don't know if that's a defeat. Oh, ties are decided by you. Do you want to lose or win? What's the... <laughs> Defeats brought you. Okay, victory. At the end of the turn, move your dreamer to any night space. Defeat, add up to three shadows to an area of your choice which is not under an opponent's control. I'm guessing you probably want to do the victory one. You can move your dreamer to any night space. You don't have to go to that one. Oh. So you can toss that yeah, underneath. Let me, uh, let me just give me a second to think about that. Sorry, what was the winning one? <laughs> you, get to, you get to move this guy to any night space. What was the other one? At the end of your turn. You get to put three of these guys in places not controlled by me. No. Oh. I don't want to do that. Alright, so which shadowed area are you going to pick? I'm going to pick... Oh, I already forgot. Hold on. Oh, come on! <laughs> No, I'm I'm fine where I am. If it sounds if it sounds like I'm impatient, it's because we had a little technical difficulty. We had to stop. <laughs> Brittany's been thinking about 15 minutes. We come back and she's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna stay where I am. <laughs> okay. So, um, did I do my thing? Because we had a little gap. Uh, no, I didn't do my cloud thing, did I? Because you took a victory. 
And that's the end of your I turn. Don't, you I do don't that. think no, you. Because we do the dream things. So you, are you going to get rid of that dream card? Uh, no, I got, I, it, I got it. Is it end of it, turn it, or any time? Any time. Okay, so do it now. Before Initiate you. at least two battles in one turn. Okay, you did that. Yay. It's two oh, points. Two points, okay. And uh, so now that's done. Now it's your dream phase. Because mm -hmm. you got rid of that any time. So you could have gotten rid of that before. Yeah. Your dream stuff. You get to take two cards. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Okay, now fill that space up. Fill that space up. I get hiccups. Okay, and now you take another one. Okay, now grab, fill that space in it. Fill that space up again. Okay. Okay. I, I read this card wrong. And I should get rid of it. The amount of work required to get it is more, and it's not worth it. It's only one point. So, it's easy to get, that's why. But it's easy, but it's going to be timely. That was a waste. I can't believe I held on to that card. Okay, so now it's my turn to do. You were doing maneuver, right? So that was right here. So I can do conform, produce a total of two in areas. Wait, in, why do you get to conform? What do you mean? You're right here. You were right here. You just did a maneuver. I thought right? it was based. Oh, yeah. But there's no arrow there. No, it's not based on arrows. Adjacency. Oh, all right, fine, fine, fine. fine. <laughs> Welcome to the game, Brittany. <laughs> Produce a total of two in in areas under your control. Okay. So I'm gonna do or draw a card. I'm gonna produce a total of two in areas I control. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go here for one and there for the other. Uh, no, here. I control that area too. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, that was my thing. Uh, build a building. Building piece. Mm -hmm. So here we go. This is where it starts to get cool. Oh, it looks cool. so Bam. good. There you go. Neato. And now this, ah, this is where we start phase two. So I'm going to read phase two to you. So there's a few steps. We have to shuffle the stage two development cards into the deck without shuffling the discard pile. So, phase, phase two development cards are these. So we shuffle these into the phase one development deck without including the discard pile. Okay, so. Is there gonna be a bunch of new cards that are gonna use like, you will see cards that are gonna use the nightmares, but the nightmares aren't out yet, but they're close. They're gonna come out once the cathedral <sighs> is done. They need to use them. Oh, we passed the start. No, we didn't. Oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Chill out. <laughs> Let's finish. No, all right. <laughs> um, all right. So shuffle all stage two dream cards into the deck, then shuffle the dream offer with the deck, and then draw three new cards. Okay. So all shuffle all stage two dream cards into the deck. Okay, yeah. So these guys and this. All get shuffled together. Not the discard pile. Not, I'm assuming not the discard pile. Shove all stage two dream cards into the deck. Okay. I'm not even exactly sure if there is a dream deck discard pile, but let's say there is. We're fine. We're not going to get through all these. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, then we do three more offerings. Boom, boom, Wow. Boom. What's the five? Two fives. It's two fives. Win two battles. You get a, a area control and battle, so this is any time. When you ba oh. uh, win, win two battles in a single turn. Oh, I would've just got five. Yeah. And the other one is area control. Any time. Control at least three areas with the same symbol. That's the marker. Oh, okay. Okay. Alrighty. So it's uh go time. My it's oh come on, is it go to not go time? There's one more step. Uh remove the stage one conflict cards. Oh yeah, so those cards at the end, yeah. remove those. And then we do stage two conflict cards. Oh, that's scary. I'll take these. Okay. Nightmares aren't out yet. They're close once those once that fills up. And then uh, that's it for now. That's it for now.
But we're in stage, are we in stage two? No, hold on. Oh, no. So you got a slippery phone. I do. <laughs> Sorry about us checking the rules, because again, we haven't played this before. And we haven't gotten this, we, I, I didn't teach Brittany this far. No. Once the final cathedral piece is placed, okay, stage two begins once um, the cathedral's completed. That's when the nightmares come out. Okay. okay. Which makes sense. Okay. Alrighty. Your go. Yeah. My go. My go. What am I gonna do? Good stuff. I can do things. Oh, this moves. I might do a fortify. No, sorry, uh, I'm gonna fortify. A no, fortify? No, not fortify. A spawn. Summon. I'm gonna do a summon. No, I can't do a summon. I was just there. Bah. <laughs> so all I can do is develop or ritual. Okay. Let's develop. You over develop stage. This is our starting space, by the way. Okay. Uh, so develop. Play up to two cards. Maximum one can be an upgrade. Let's do this. Uh, one of your forts produce equal to its level. So I'm going to go here, fourth, two. Because it's, it's two levels, mm -hmm. so it produces two. Mm -hmm. Next thing is... I'm going to do this. Place three shadows anywhere, then climb one gray step on the ritual track. Three shadows anywhere. So... There. What do we got over here? I'm so frustrated. You... It's not so bad. I'm so frustrated right now. These two go there. I think that's pretty good. That's a good, that's a good balance. And I move one step off the ritual track. I think I'm gonna go up this guy, actually. Oh, I cannot believe you have that card. It makes me so angry. It's alright. If you're gonna be angry, please speak up for the people. Sorry, no, I'm. It's totally under my breath. No, Curse on the freaking <laughs> like Mutley. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so I get to play. I deploy two cards. Yeah. Okay, so I deploy two cards. I didn't do any upgrades. Then I get to draw a card. Boom. Okay. Nice. And then I get to get rid of some dream cards. So I am going to get rid of this card that's been clogging me up, and I thought it was a good idea, and it's garbage. <laughs> so I'm going to do this one. And fill that up. I'll take another one. And I'll take, because I know Brittany wants this one because she seemed very excited, the battle one. I'm taking that one. <laughs> Alright. I'm not much of a battler myself, but I don't want you to have it. You just want you're like the little yeah. puppet master. Well let me, let me check this out one second. Okay, it's gonna take some work <laughs> to get some of these. Alright, um, so I'm not gonna trigger any of these. Any end of turn things for you or and you can do your um, your function your Okay. You can do either a com conform or a descent. I'm gonna conform. It says play one card, not an upgrade card. Okay. okay. So I'm going to play this ploy card. It says, move your shaper to any area. You may play another card. I'm going to move it over there. Okay, what other card are you going to play? I'm going to play this one. It's another ploy card. Produce one in your fortress. That's this, right? Mm -hmm. Move any number of your followers from your fortress to any of your forts. How many? Sorry? Any number. Any number. How many do you have there, too? I can't see you. Yeah, and then sure. draw a card. Okay. Are you done? Yeah. There you go. Um, now, the dream I got rid of that I, I, I thought was going to be easy, it was I had to have, I read it as I have to have my shaper in a fort controlled by somebody else. And I was like, easy, I'm just going to walk over there and get a point. Mm -hmm. But it was Fortress. And I was like, oh, it's uh, too much of a walk. It's too much of a walk journey. That's fire. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not taking it. So that goes there, and we're building a piece of the cathedral. Check it out, Britt. Da, 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 da. Bam. Did I put that the right way? Yeah. Boom. Look, cathedral's coming together. Look how cool that looks. 
All right, then we move this. Your turn. Well, you ruined my plans. What to do, what to do, what to do. What does each marked area mean? Each marked area? Yeah. These are marked oh. areas. So, the area, so it's moon. So it's the moon. The moon is the marked area right now. There's three of each. For summon, for instance, it says each under your each area under your control produces one. Each marked area produces one. Yeah. So all the moon areas will produce one for whoever okay. controls them. Oh, and for then whoever all, controls And then all your uh, fortresses will produce. What is it? One? one. No, all your areas you control produce one. What does it say? It says each area under your control produces control, one. Control. Okay. Yeah. And then each marked area produces one, which I don't have any marked area, so that doesn't work for me. Receive one move point. I think that's all the four things do that, so you don't always get. Okay, I am going. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna summon. Okay, move your dreamer. Where's the summon? All the way down here. Bam, got him. Okay, so. Summoning. Summoning one and under my control. I don't have any moons. Well, um, I have moons. Each marked area produces one. Yeah. Oh, so, so you do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do that. What? Oh, fine, fine. I've committed. I've committed. This is how we roll. And I can have one area with four in it. And I only have two. Are you sure it works on your behalf? It does. It okay. says produces. Each area with the moon produce each, each marked area produces. And then it produces for the person who's control. That's I'm positive. That's unfortunate. I should have waited, maybe. Oh well, I've committed. Okay, receive one move point. Okay. Uh, then perform a conversion in your shapers area. I'll take that. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> then resolve one conflict. Okay, which conflict are you going to resolve? that one over there. Over here? Yep. Okay. So I only get one, right? Yep, yeah, one card. Place it face up. Facing me so it's easier for the cameras to read. Okay. Ready? Yep. Do it. Boom. Okay, two claws. Nice. Flip theirs. It's the top one. A claw and a shield. So you both die. So is that Two a limbo loss? for you. Is that a loss? It's a tie, so I think you choose. Because it was a tie, so I believe you choose ties. As, as far as I understand, I don't want to dig through the rules right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. What's the, what's the options? Victory. You're probably always going with the victory one. Victory. Devour up to two uh, of your followers and add one level to any of your existing forts for each follower devoured. Now, devoured means. Here's the, here's the thing. I've had this happen when I played the single game. The devoured side of the board is the other side of this board. Mm. Now, I'm assuming I could still devour even though I can't see that. We would just put it off to the side and when we flip it, we would just put it on there. Um, so devour up to two of your followers. So that means you take your followers and they're, they're out of the they're game gone. for good. Okay. But at the end, you get scored on who has the most devoured people. So the person oh, who has the most points. devoured people gets eight points. The person who has the second, it's five, third, three. Okay. Now, shadows, if they get devoured, they can block you from getting first if they have more. Okay. Okay. And if it's a tie, do you split? I'd have to double check how the split works. Okay. But, um, and so. Then what's the uh, descent? Not the descent, what? sorry. The losing. Oh, the defeat. Add one shadow to each area adjacent to the cathedral. So you'd add one here, there and here. Yeah, no. This one's this guy's full. I don't want to do that. So I just devour two from any. Devour up to two, so you don't have to devour any. Two of your followers, and add one level to any of your existing forts for each follower devoured. So you can place that. Eh, hundred. Okay, I'll devour underneath. this. So I'll put this over here. Under your card. All right. You can, you can devour another one. No, no thanks. All right. So you're good. Was that the end of your card? Yep. Is it just resolve one conflict? Yep. Okay. Okie dokie. So, any, how's your oh, dream card? Oh, I got done? it anytime. 
win a battle against shadows. That's a, what was that one point? Two points. What? Yeah. Bullshit. I don't know. That's bullshit. <laughs> Put it on the table. Let me see. The one that said I needed to summon seven at a time was way harder, and it was only worth one. This is bullshit. What does it say? Anytime win a battle against shadows. Pff. <laughs> All right. Hey, you got mine. The the five one. Yeah, that's. I'm never gonna do that. Okay. So, um. So you get to d discard and draw some dreams. What do you want? Sorry. So the end. You get to discard and draw dreams right now. Oh, I need a dream. So you're not discarding any? You'd have to choose to discard that first before you see the yeah, next no. one. Yeah, no. Okay. Then fill that space up. Alright. Dunsky. So, I am going to... Oh, so now I can do my... Th you have any end of turn actions? No. Okay. I have done that work right now. And... So I can, which were you? Oh, you're on summon. And I can only descent. Climb one gray step on the ritual track is all I can do. It's lame. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lame constellation prize. All right, so now we've gone full circle. Brit, that's the beginning. Okay. We've gone full circle, so yep. we move this one. Okay. One of the game conditions is to reach this. As soon as it reaches that, it's over. I don't think we'll get that far. Though. Oh, end of your turn. Boom. Now, before we throw the nightmares on, oh, it looks so good. there's no bonuses there. Oh, we didn't do the shadow bonus. Oh. So let's do that now. Pretend it's on that space. We forgot that last turn. Uh, each player must add one shadow to any area, uh, sorry, any area respecting unit limits. So place that somewhere. I'll place, place yours somewhere. Blop. No, actually, right here. Just kidding. It makes me so angry. The only place you can't put them is here. But I could do it here. Yep. Okay. So that was from, that should have been last turn, but we missed that. Okay. It's fixed down. Okay. So check it out. So this thing flips over. Let's, let's not destroy everything. And it's this maw of madness here. This devouring mouth. That's terrifying. So he goes in there. Yeah, let me finish Billion. No, oh, I'm excited. I can't do it while sitting down. I can't. It's too... This is not difficult. This is the easiest puzzle in the world to build. Come on. Why am I struggling? Pause. To build. Alright, done. So, now devoured units get... Why oh, is it still lifted there? We gotta flatten this table. It's got some bubble issues. <laughs> so, um, we got one devoured unit. So currently, you're in first place. If that's the only unit at the end of the game, you get eight points just for being there. You're not going to be the only one. Now, Why? because these things devour units like crazy. No. <laughs> so, two nightmares come out. And these nightmares can be chosen randomly. Or, I just went by, um, the, the designers have some combinations. Now, I didn't read through the combinations. I just picked one guy and I was like, who combos with him? And it was that guy. <laughs> so, now we're going to see. And these cards are double-sided. Double-sided as in, there's a certain ability. They play a certain way on this side and they play a different way on that side. But we're just playing with the side right now. So I'm going to explain how each of these work, okay? Now, to control one of these guys, you have to do... You'll either have a card that says, like, sacrifice a follower to control a nightmare, etc., something like that. Those come in the new development cards. Or if you hit one of these areas that have these little... Looks like the circles with all these hands, mm -hmm. that means you control a nightmare. So you'll, you can do this or that is what I'm assuming you can do. Okay. Um, okay, so when you command this nightmare, you move exactly three. And in each area, you must, you have two options, devour a shadow to climb one step on the gray, on the ritual track, or devour a follower to climb one step on a blue on the ritual track. Ooh. Okay. That's the big guy? Yeah, that's this guy here. It's like a, a city with a mouth. It's a burning city with a mouth or something. It's weird looking. See? Okay. It's a crazy looking thing. So that's how that guy works. Um, I'm going to put him a little closer for us to read. I'm just going to put him here so it's easy for everybody to see. 
And you can you use them at any time where you have cards to use them? Uh, there's cards to use. Them. Okay. okay. It'll say command. Do this to command a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Now. Can I, you devour as many as you want, or just one? It says specifically move three, and each time you devour one. Each time, each step you take. If you devour a gray, you move up on the gray. Mm -hmm. If you devour a follower, you move up on, on the, blue. the blue. So if you devour a follower and on the gray, you don't move up. Okay. As far as I understand. Okay. okay. Nightmare. Now this guy, I played with this guy when I did my play, my, my single learning thing. Yeah. I didn't do that guy, so I don't know what this guy does. This guy says move exactly five. So their movement's very specific. It's exactly three, exactly five. Okay. You must devour one unit or place one of your followers per area you move through or stop on. So every place he goes to, you either devour one or put one of yours down. Okay. There's more. If you devoured more units than you placed, you must discard two cards. If you placed more units than devoured, you may draw a card. So if you place more, draw a card. Devour more, discard cards. Okay. Now, I'm assuming if you don't have enough cards to discard, I, don't, I guess you discard everything, or you just won't be able to do... I don't know how that would work. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's just say that if you can't discard two, you we, can't, can't we just it. can't use it. Um, because I'm not exactly sure how that works. And normally these wouldn't go here on the board, but I'm just putting them here because we know so these two are connected. It. It's easier for the camera to see because I think it's off. it might be off camera there. I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Go. Um, so you built. That was the end of your turn, right? And then we've turned this. We go there. Okay, so I can't move or de develop, which is the two things I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ew. Okay, okay. I can fortify. Can do that. If I fortify, you only get your dis... What's your... Um, Descent for fortify. Spend one of your followers to build one fort level in an area under your control or draw a card. Okay. 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 You know what? I want to. I think I want to maneuver. You can't. Why not? Oh, I can't maneuver. You just said that. What? I'm judging you. Everyone's Whatever. judging you right now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to fortify. Pass me over. Fortify. Okay, so I can spend zero over two. Two will build me two. So I'm gonna spend one, two, and those two. I'm not gonna have guys in limbo forever because I've never performed a ritual yet. Mm. And I'm gonna build two. So I'm gonna build one there. Double up. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that's all I can do for Fortify. Okay. And at my dreams, I should really pay more attention to those. Nothing's happening there. <laughs> and uh, so, what are you, you going to do anything with your dreams? I'm going to keep my dreams. Actually, yeah. maybe I might, I, well, I might get rid of the dream. You know what? I'm going to take care of this one. Oh, no. Screw it, no, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna keep both. I'm gonna keep both. I hear what you say. Keep me that both. And uh, I don't have any end of turn things I'm doing, so what are, you, are you doing any end of turn actions? I get to do my descent, don't I? Yeah, that, that's what I'm, when I'm saying that, I mean you, that's okay. the term. You can okay. do both those things. I'm gonna spend one of my followers to build one fort level in the area under my control. I'm gonna spend this. And. Okay. You do control that, barely. <laughs> okay, uh, and that is it. Goes there, this moves. Now what are you gonna do? Okay, I am going to... I had a plan and I forgot it. Go figure. I'm going to... I'm gonna summon. You can't. Right, because I just did that. Yeah, I knew you were, I, I, your mouth was going to say why. Let's play it back. You're like, <laughs> you, you can fortify, move, or develop. Okay. I'm going to... 
I'm gonna move. Maneuver. Maneuver. Okay, so I get six maneuvers. Okay, so can you move my guy over, that guy here? That's okay. one. The shaper, one. Yep. And I'm gonna go two, three. Uh -huh. Four, five. Hold on, you can't move out of areas with bad guys. Back in there. Oh. I didn't <laughs> realize that. One. Oh, I didn't know that. Black I change. told you at the beginning. I, I know, can't remember. I, I can't forgot. You I remember. forgot. Changes everything. Because I can move six. One. That's, That's two. two. <laughs> That's all I can do. Okay. Okay, then perform a conversion in your shapers area. There you go. Get that out of your way for you. Mm hmm. Then resolve three conflicts. Okay, so I don't have to pick mine, do I? Yeah, you have to. No, you have to just resolve conflicts. Okay, so, it has to be three. so this one. Okay, so let's do that one at a time. That one. Um, I can. They're only a one. I'm just going to do a... Actually, hold on. I forgot about the conflicts. I have no cards. I'm going to do these two. Okay. Just to cover in case he does something like that. So he's done. Right. One guy One guy dies. Limbo! I'm going to die. Guys limbo. So he's dead. Who's dead? This he's guy? Dead. No. This he's guy. dead. Yeah, I killed him. I win this. Okay. Win this battle. Hold on. Hold on. It's my victory condition. Uh, devour one follower from the conflict area to climb one blue or gray step. Sure with that. Let's do it. And I'm going to move one blue step, which is going to give me control of a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I win one blue step. Oh. So I'm taking control of a nightmare. Woot woot. So let's resolve that first before we jump into other conflicts. Oh, baby. So, uh, this one moves me up the track as I devour. I can move three spaces. So shadows move me up grays, followers move me up blues. So I only need grays right now. So, okay. And this guy is exactly five spaces, and he either devours or places. If I I draw a card, if I placed more than I devoured, right? Is it? He must devour one unit or place one of my followers. Okay. So the way I've been playing it, because one thing I wasn't clear of, because they don't start on a space, so I'm assuming I would just hop onto any of these spaces around the cathedral to start, Makes and sense. then move from there. Makes sense. So I don't know where I'm going yet. So five spaces. So what I want to do is devour two and place three so I can draw a card. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go one devoured, mm -hmm. which is good for you. That's points. You're doing great. Good for you. Uh, one, two. Um, actually, hold on. Let me do that another way. One second. Figure this out. Did you just go back to these? Okay, yeah, well. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Well, I didn't finish my turn. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, do you see how convenient it is when let's, he does it, but he mocks listen, me when I do it? Let's make. Let's do. Hey, if I complete my move, I usually say I'm done. But what's your? Tell me. What, no. What's your I'm, call? I'm are, just mocking. Are you letting me do it or not? Just. Do I'm it. good either way. You've already done it. No, I haven't. We're wasting it. time. All right. So I'm going to go here. I'm actually going to place a follower. Go here and devour a gray. Do we all fight if you're there? No, you choose. Okay. Um, then I go boom. Place a follower. 
Oh, shit. I, I threw away my basic attack card. <laughs> I, I chucked it. I don't have it anymore. Hold on. Where is it? I got rid of my uh, basic combat card. It's not on the table. Hold How on. are you playing right now? I'm not. What do you mean? How am I playing? How are you moving that guy? Cause I move. I got here. How did you move there? Cause I won the combat and it let me move. The right. Cube okay. There. Cause I Hold was on. like, my turn's not over. So I know. I have to find my card. I left. I threw my. I'll shuffle this. I threw my basic card into the discard pile. Where is it? Where is it? That's not the discard pile. You just. I know. No. I went through the discard pile. I didn't find it there either. Where is it? Is it? It's gotta be here. Hold on. Break. <laughs> is it on the table? Is it under there? No. Oh, here it is. Got it. It was shuffled into the deck. And he was gonna do that eventually. All the talking and playing, and he was gonna happen. All right. So got my basic combat card. I just looked over and I was like, why do I only have one card? Okay. So, anyways, I went one, two, three. Right? Okay? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. I placed. I devoured. I haven't. I placed. So I have to devour and place. So I have to be. It says move exactly five. You must devour... Oh, it doesn't say I can't... It doesn't have to be different spaces. Oh. Just right? It says just move exactly five. So, one, two, three, four, five. Four. Place in there. And, because, uh, yeah, that's what it says, right? It, doesn't, it just says move five. Move exactly five. So, come back here. And then I will devour... You. Uh, no. Move exactly five. You must devour one unit or place one of the followers per area you move through or stop on. Yeah. Okay. Right. You devoured more units. Okay. I know it says per area, so maybe I can't do it twice in an area. Let's say I can't do it twice in an area, because I could break things. Okay, so I am taking back, but only to fix, fix what the you chaos. And uh, what was it? I placed I placed one here and then I didn't do anything. That was at the beginning, yeah. Yeah, so I placed, I devoured, I placed, two more things to go. I am going to... Place. And then devour. <laughs> Alright. So there you go. So <laughs> I'm dead now. So that's that was me moving the nightmare. Sorry, that took a while. The nightmares getting the, are cool. I like nightmares, but they're I there was new, I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was one combat. Two more combats, right? You you have to okay. do three? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna choose that you fight him. I fight the shadow? Okay. Alrighty. I blocked it and killed him. That's how it's done, son. <laughs> so, hey, what's my victory reward? Oh, right. <laughs> one of your forts produces one. one command one nightmare. Oh. Yeah, I get to command another nightmare. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> one of my forts produces exactly no. one. So, let's go. Uh, let's go here. I don't want you to win now. <laughs> let's go there. Okay, one of my force produces exactly one. Okay. And now I, c I get a Nightmare Command again, eh? Okay. I think it says per turn, you can't control, you can only control the Nightmare once. So I can't control that guy because it's the same turn. Mm -hmm. So I can control this guy though. And he is, I move three. In each area, I devour either a Grey or a, or a Follower. If I devour a Follower, uh, I go up on the blue track. Grey tracks, I go up the Grey track. So... Devour a follower, or uh, sorry, a uh, shadow. Go up on the gray track. Ugh, this is all wins for you. One. I chose poorly. Go here. Devour this. Go one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go one here. 
One there. One there is good. Um, and I have one more. Hmm. And we've agreed to not backtrack. We're going to have to move exactly three spaces. So, uh, devour a follower to climb one step. I don't know what you're I guess. I guess if I devour a follower now, I won't. I just won't go up. Uh, no, so oh, no, I haven't. I'm just, right, just, I just feel like it's your turn because you've been moving so much. Well, it's because you did this to me. I know. So I'm um, putting I devoured one of my guys, but I move up on blue. There's no blue. I can't move up on blue. There's no more grays for me to devour. Oh, there's a gray. I couldn't see him from behind. The, this is not undo. I can't seal. There's a gray there. There is? Yeah. Didn't you move from there to there? That's not a gray. That's you. That's me? Oh, I can't see. Oh, well. I'll go back to them then. Sorry, look great from here. I can't yeah. see through the, behind the castle. All right. So that's it. That was three. One, two, three. Okay. And uh, pick another battle. What else are you going to do for me? <laughs> this is the, your turn is the best. This has been terrible for me. I can't battle. Just so you know, you're losing first place for Devour now. Okay, wait a second. Does this work for me? How many did you devour? Three? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, is there anything else you can fight? No, right? Um, this, this, this hasn't happened. That can be a conflict. Um, you did this one. That was the first one, right? Yeah. Did you do me oh, against you? Oh, we did it here and here. Yeah, but it was me against the shadow here, wasn't it? Yeah. There's no benefit of me beating you. Um, I guess I'll do... You do you against the shadows over there. Yeah, I won't win though. Unless I give this up. But I don't want to, I want this card. Okay, I'll fight here. Okay, I so... I want the monster more. Drop them both. Drop them both down. Okay, oh, that's nice, nice, nice. I don't know if I would have done that. Uh, flip your... Uh, Are you kidding me? <laughs> flip, the shadow, <laughs> flip the shadow card. Okay. Oh, and they attack uh, twice. So I block one. You block one. So they kill one, and you kill both of them. So, you did win that one. Victory. Devour up to two followers or shadows from a single area of your choice. Draw a card. I wanted a monster. I'll take... You take the basic one. That's such... Bananas. I wanted a monster, that's why I got rid of the thing. Oh. Well. Devour up to two followers. From one area. Four shadows from a single area. It's gotta be followers. There's no two shadows. There's no shadows on the board except for this one. Because you ate them all. Ugh. So I can't even get my benefit unless I lose this. Alright. So you're gonna devour two guys? Well, it puts you in the lead for points though. And I draw a card, please. There you go. Put that underneath. Okay. Where's that card from? The one all the way down there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You threw it. Okay. So. That was three combats. You want to continue? Is your card done now? My card? Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, it's done. Okay. Now what are you going to do? Now you have uh, dreams. You can keep them? Oh, I have a question. Hold on. I won two battles, right? But bam! Five points! Ah. Anytime! <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. Yeah. That was like a Christmas turn for me. Okay, I have a question. So because that was I my did win two battles, didn't Because I? that was my turn. I did win two battles. Yes, you though, did. Right? Okay, I just want to confirm. Yeah, yeah, you did. Okay. Five because points. that was my turn. Yeah. It says anytime. Eliminate in any way, including devouring at least four shadows in a single turn. Does that work? But you didn't eliminate them. But I'm it doesn't say they get eliminated. No, I did it. I eliminated them. But it you was because I them. forced you to. No, oh. you didn't. It was I, a stretch. The way I, the way I look at it is like you have to eliminate them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I can do the dream thing, right? Because like if I had that card, I could have used it because I could have eliminated. Because I was the one that eliminated them. That's how I read it. Okay, I I do want to switch. Uh, you already ate all the shadows, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to take this one. Alright. 
Well, that sucked. No, that's pretty good. It sucked. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, go. Okay, um, move the Toki Toke. Oh, hold on, I still get to do my thing. <laughs> I, you were in movement, so I get to conform or draw. I'm going to conform. keep saying manu movement, it's maneuver. It's maneuver, yeah. So I get to draw one card or place or produce a total of two in an area I control. Okay. Well, I will produce two in an area I control. Although I could use a card. Do you get points for these at the end for being stacked? I have a sheet for that. There is a point. Yes, I did zero points, one point, two points for three, I think. Okay. But I'm pretty sure these are zero if they're by themselves. Okay. Uh, areas I control. So I'm gonna do, I'll put two here. All righty. So, well, it's a total of two in areas I control, so it could be in two different spots. So, there and there. Okay. So that was that was your go. We're done. And now, now it's my go. I think I'm gonna do. Oh fuck! I suck. I'm sorry, I still can't do. I still can't move anywhere. All I can do is summon or develop. So I guess I'm gonna go to s summon, and I'm gonna. Do, but I'm not. No, that's something, sorry, I'm gonna to go to ritual. But I'm gonna do something I haven't done yet. I am not gonna do the ritual thing. I'm gonna draw cards, because I have no cards. <laughs> so I need some cards. Mm -hmm. And now that I've done that, I get to dump my You're doing dreams. the ritual? What? Mm -hmm. I did oh yes, I'm doing ritual. So I'm dumping my dreams now. Hold on. But I'm not I'm keeping that dream actually. I just gotta pick another one. I'll take this one. Tricky one, but I think I can do it. Okay, so um, I drew two cards and I did my dreams. I'm not gonna play any of the dreams right now. And uh, so here you go dreams and end. I'm oh, sorry, end of turn things and play your card. You can uh, descent. Do you have any end yeah, of turn under, things? Yeah, under what was that under? Uh, ritual? Ritual. Perfect. The draw one card, please. Boom. So I go there, move that around. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna fortify, and I can spend zero to build, mm -hmm. which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go here. Okay. And I can. Can I do more than one? If you sacrifice two, you can put two. Oh, to get to the second level. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, no. It says spend zero or two of the followers to build one. That's the oh, second yeah. level to play two. It doesn't have to be on the same. Oh, thing. I see. Okay. You go ahead then. I need to move this. Yes, you did move it. All right, so, uh, no, do your dreams. Mm. I have not uh, done any. Hold on. I want to. What's the one closest to you? Oh, this I'll one? I'll just grab it. Switch these. Let's go here. Okay, here go. Alrighty. Um, so, what did you just do? You just did a fortify. Yeah. Did you go through all your steps already? I did. And what did you build? You just did that one. Yep. Okay. So, you, your dreams. Nothing's happening with your dreams. They're crushed. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, so my fortify descent is spend one of your followers to build one four level in an area under your control or draw one card. Okay, I'm gonna spend a follower. I'll spend this guy to build a fort in an area I control. 
here. This works for me. And on my turn, and then you're done, move the tricky tracker. And I'm gonna go fortify as well. I'm gonna spend two followers, one from here and one from here, to build two of these. So I'm gonna put one down there. No, that was two, I built one here. No, that was on your turn, I did that. So there you go, go right there. Come on, you got this. <laughs> Come on, you got it, you got it. Yeah, yeah. you did it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, no, I got nothing there. Um, so I fortified, so I'm done with fortif fortification. Okay. Uh, dream cards, I'm gonna get rid of this one because you. I think you totally screwed me on this one. So close though. Let's go. Oh, we can fill that up. What are the ending factors again? I'll tell you in a second. Yeah. Oh, we'll go over that in a second because there might be well, it's not over, but I'll tell you. Oh, I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> no, I'm... and check it out. <laughs> the one I took. Automatic. <laughs> Anytime. Have at least three followers in limbo. Dunsky. Nice. <laughs> so I scored one point. That was an easy one. Um. So the end conditions. This is a, okay. This here's one thing that I'm unclear on in the rule book from what I read. The end condition is, if this reaches here, it ends. The other end condition is the number of devoured followers. Now, it's supposed to be, the way it's worded, I don't quite understand, but it has to do with these numbers here. But the way I understand it, it's 12 if it's two players, then three players, or four players. So 12, 16, or 20 total. Okay. And you go by the highest number on these. So, But the numbers are the same. So I'm thinking once we have 12 devoured, 12 followers devoured, not followers, just people in here. Yeah, know. yeah. So there's currently, there's six, seven, eight. Yeah. So if there's 12 there, it's okay. over. Okay. I find when this when the nightmares come out, it can go fairly quick. It's a little, we're going a little slower because we haven't played this before. Mm -hmm. But um, it seems to fly quick once you know what you're doing. Okay. Uh, so, sorry, you asked me that question, what did I do? I just did this. Sorry. Did this thing. Um, and I'm, now we're doing end of turn things. And my end of turn thing is this. At a player, end of any player's turn, I have at least two level three forts in the area with the same symbol. Moon, moon, three, three. Oh yeah, I get three points. Wow, you're getting a lot of points. But bam! I think I have cards, but I think you have more points than me because you have a five in there. No, I threw a five away. But you you won a five. Oh, did I? Yeah. I can't remember which one that was. Yeah. All right, so that's it for me. What are you gonna do for your, you can do either conform oh. or descent. For the two forward by. We haven't battled each other. You afraid of me? <laughs> oh, what do I want to do? So you have points for the levels, right? Yeah, I believe it. I'm. I'm pretty sure it's it's uh, zero for one level, two and oh, sorry, one and two. I believe for three. Actually, I'm gonna draw a card. There you go. Okay, so we move down here. And uh, let's see what happens now. It's your turn, Britt. Okay. I'm going to develop. Oh, I read that wrong. Can I can I take that sure, turn back? Going, the whole turn? No, the card that I just got. You I can't, no, I, you can't look at a card and then take it back. No, that's that's, that's not, completely different. That's not why. It's because I thought I could upgrade twice and I can't. So I only had three cards, so there was no point in upgrading or You still use your card. upgrade cards for combat. But it says play one upgrade. Oh, you have an upgrade card. It, says play, a, it literally says yeah, play one, one so upgrade. So you're saying all you have is upgrades. All I have is upgrades. So then choose your, just don't choose develop action. I'm cool with you going back, but you can't go back after you see what the card is. But it's not that I, it's, I only wanted the card just in case I got a I know, but, but you don't want to see, but your, your okay. take back is give the card back. All right. Um, Only because I wanted to play my card. I understand. Okay, that's Just fine. don't pick development. Go here. How do I do that? And then, I know I want to play my card. Okay, then you're I so, want to upgrade my card. Then upgrade your card, man. But the winning thing was I to understand. play one upgrade. I, okay. Okay. That sucks. 
play when I'm grading. Okay, so I've upgraded my perform ritual. Okay. And then I get to play another card, so I'll play this play card. Move up to two units. So you were you had two cards to play. What was this doing? is the one I just got from you. I know, so you could play two cards though. I can play two cards, but it's not the cards I wanted. Let's not argue in front of the fence. <laughs> okay. It's not the card you wanted. I wanted to play my two upgrade cards. Okay, I understand. Okay, so just drop it. No. Okay. Play my play. Move up to two units from an area adjacent to your shaper into the shapers into your shapers area. Okay. Up to two units. One, two. Well, I guess I don't have to do that. Well, whatever. Um. Then perform a conversion in your shapers area. I'm assuming <laughs> that guy's gone. Yeah. Okay, put your green together. And then hey, oh. oh. Yep. And then what? Uh, then resolve one conflict. Any conflict on the board? Uh, yeah, right here. Okay. And if there's anything over here, I can't tell. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Me and you, eh? I guess. Do this. Okay. Oh, this is still on here. So nobody control. So here's the thing. I'm not going to describe something. Oh, no, don't show me yet. Because we're um, nobody controls this area. We have to show our cards at the same time, and we can only play a max of one. And we have to play at least one. Um, if it was, if it was controlled by somebody, the person who doesn't control it has to pick their cards first, and then we respond. So we don't get to see it. So Brittany would pick like one card, and if I had two because I controlled it. I could put one card or two cards. I have a question. Yes. It says I, I can play up to two cards, then draw one card. Can I draw one card now or do I have to wait till the conflict? No, you have to over? wait till it's over. Okay. That's okay. how I've been Because that's it. the card. That makes sense. Okay, go. Cool. Okay. Bam. You I blocked, blocked it. it and I crushed you. Great. So right. limbo. Good limbo. That was my plan. Get out of here. Well, your plan achieved. You're a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. So, you're dead. Excellent. And what else? Now I get to draw a card. Anything else left on your card? Or is that the last part? That's it. Okay, so I can conform, play up to two cards. Maximum of one of these can be an upgrade. You're familiar with that. So I'm going to do. Or I can draw two cards. I'm going to conform. I'm going to. Oh, I can't conform. You're too far away from me. Sucker. I didn't want to conform anyways. I'm gonna I'm gonna dissent then. And I that's what I was chosen anyways. Mm -hmm. I draw two cards. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I can deploy. Yeah, I'm gonna deploy. Here we go there. So I'm gonna deploy. Develop. Develop, not deploy. Develop. That was I'm gonna develop. And I'm going to do some serious developing here. First of all, we're going to do devour one unit to command a nightmare. I will devour. Oh, yeah, I can devour any unit. I can be a shadow too. Yeah, any unit. So I will get rid of this guy. There you go. Actually, you know what? I'll devour this guy. My guy. Um, so, there you go. Devoured one unit to command a nightmare. And I'm gonna command... Hmm. Who do I want to command? I think I'm going to command Mr. Five Spaces there. This guy. So I'm going to go one, devour. Two, put there. Um, three. 
three. Place. So I have devoured, placed, placed. Yep. Over here, devour. Four. Um, so we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, and the game is over. And you get to devour one more? I do. And I will devour. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, I don't have any more spaces to go. There's nowhere else, there's nobody else to devour. Oh, well. Because if we can't go oh, back. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, can't go anywhere else. So I'll just go here. Okay. So, but I place two and devour two, but he has a condition. Can't get rid of cards now. If you placed more units, I didn't. If you devoured more units, I didn't. So I didn't devour more units or place more units. So I don't discard two cards or draw a card. So yeah, there's just confirming four, four, yeah. We just need one more devour. I didn't do this when I played my sure. upgrade. What is it? Anytime, have upgrades for the following. Ritual and Oh, you can do it anytime, you can do it Oh, anytime. okay. It's anytime. What is I got it? it, three. Oh, yeah, oh, you had that one, it's out there. Okay. So I devoured my, I get to play two cards though. I've only played one so far. Let's see what else I got. I'm gonna keep those guys there, they're fine. I'm okay, I'm only gonna play one card. And then I get to draw a card at the end of my develop phase. Bam. Okay. Now I'm at my dream site, I gotta draw two dreams. At the end of my turn. How many of my guys did I devour two? It's close. <laughs> uh, four more. Okay. You choose this guy. Put in. This one is. And then I'm gonna draw a rando. Off the top. That's gonna be interesting. To win that one. All right. So, sadly that I didn't have one more. I could have chosen a different path and ended this game. <laughs> but I didn't take it back. I'm not taking it back. I and I also made a mistake. My take back would have been wrong. So never mind. <laughs> oh, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, you good? I'm good. I'm getting tired. Okay, Go. so. Uh, so oh, now I get we to didn't, We didn't move this. It was my turn, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my turn. We forgot to move this. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I did my dreams. None of my dreams are going to activate. I'm not getting rid of any cards. What are you doing? I get to play a card. For develop. Yeah. I'm going to... My guy goes in there. Oh, I almost over. messed that up. Okay. I'm going to devour one unit to command one nightmare. Alright. Now, let me check the end conditions. Because it might... I don't know if it ends right away. Or if I can... Yeah, if you can do stuff. So let me... Just, we're going to just double check some rules here. Okay. All right, so we did a little check. It's from the rules that I saw, it's a little unclear. It says, if it reaches here, the game ends immediately. Otherwise, you keep playing until everybody has an equal turn. So this will be an equal turn for you. So I'm assuming that if you devour something, you would finish out your turn. Okay. So. I just want to read this. Move five spaces. Okay. He's right here. And you have to devour. I buried him over there on purpose, so it would be... <laughs> <laughs> So you do like, oh, you're done with this, right? You're just doing, you're doing this right now? Yeah, so I have to devour you, one. To yeah, you have to devour one to do it. And it's one unit, so it could be a shadow, it could be you, it could be me. Why would, why would I do that? Okay, so the game's going to end after your turn. Okay, so one, so I can place, right? Yep. We'll count it down for you. Placed. Place one. Two. Place two. Three. Devoured. Four. Oh, sorry. I lost track. You place two and devoured two. So you want to place another one or you lose two cards? Okay. And now we'll finish up this turn. Do you have anything else you do? Um, you just play, well, you played one card. I played a card. That was my yeah, that was reaction to you. Oh, that was, oh, so you haven't had your turn yet. 
Oh, I guess not. No, isn't it your turn? Don't no, tell me your actions. No, we just moved it. Yes, it was. It was? It was my conform. I moved it early? Okay. Yeah. So, so, now you have, so now you have your turn. I still have my turn. Yeah, because it says that players get equal turns, and I went first. Okay. Then I am going to fortify. Do it. So I can spend zero mm -hmm. to build. You can. And then I can spend two to build again, right? Is no, right? no, no. You you either spend zero or two. Why would I spend two? You spend two to build two. Oh, to get up one more point. And I can pull from anywhere? Yeah, did you pull any on the board? Pardon? Did you put any, any on the board I right now? I put here. Okay. So yeah, get rid of two and you can build one more. As long as you control that area, which you do. Because you control any area that has a fort on it, so you're fort on it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, dream cards for you? Um, I don't have one. No. Oh, I could pick up one. You pick up two. Why don't we one? Any of those trigger right away for you? Four, no. At the end of any player's turn, devour exactly three of your followers. Oh, if I had that already, I would have got No, you can, yeah. As I said the same thing. I devoured. That's why I was counting. How many followers did I devour last year? Yeah. Okay. So you're done? We're done. No, 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 we're done. I oh. still get my nice. I, I guess I need to pick one, right? Yeah. You can just take one off the top if you want. Okay. Uh, so now, I didn't perform one ritual thing at all this whole game. Put it back. You've seen oh. it. <laughs> no, no, no. I oh. was seeing if I got it. Uh, and now I get to. So you fortified. So all I can do is I can spend one follower to build a fort level in any area. So I will spend this follower that's in your area to begin with. Oh, I don't have any more forts. Oh, draw a card then. <laughs> that's my only option. I have no more forts. I've built all my forts. All right, card drawn. So now, we're yeah. done. We're done. We're done. Now, what's the point conditions? I gotta, I gotta look up the rules. Hold on, pause. <laughs> All right, so end of the game, I'm just re referencing, make sure we don't forget anything. Here's the steps. Here's the steps. Okay, so we're going to keep track. There's no point tracking tracker here. So we need we need something to record numbers on. Okay, I... let's, let's do it in your head, all right? You can't, hold, hold yeah. numbers, ready? No, pause. <laughs> okay, it's the moment of truth. Moment of truth, ready? Brittany's gonna keep this. Okay, if I had to make one recommendation to the designers, a score track. Yeah. Score track would be handy. Okay. So, first we're getting points based on the ritual track. So, you get points based on the farthest your cube made it. So, if my cube went one more space, I'd get a point there. <laughs> so, we each get one point from the. So, we're one for one. Okay. So, if I had one more, that'd get two because I get one for mm -hmm. each. And it's based on how far you go. So, if you get here, you don't get four, you just get three. Next. Forts score one or two victory points. I was right. So level twos. It, it, the cards are right here. Oh, yeah, but that only covers two things. Oh. There's more scoring than just those two things. It was I meant in reference to the forts. Oh, okay. Well, mine was under the phone the whole game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so is there more scoring on the other side? No, just that. Okay, so forts. So let's score my forts first. So we get one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four. Five, six, six points for me and forts. All right. Mm -hmm. And you get one, two, three, four points for you and forts. Uh, next, what's our total so far? Uh, you have seven, I have five. Okay, so I like it. I like where it's going. Um, I have five. I have seven, you have five, right. Let's get tired here. Okay. Uh, devoured units. Okay, so let's see who has the, well, Brittany has the most, and then I have second most. So the most devoured units gets eight points. So eight points for Brittany. Mm -hmm. And the second most gets five points, that's me. And the shadows get third place, but they don't have it, they don't, they don't get scored. Okay. 
And now next is upgrades. Some of your upgrades have points on them. I only have one upgrade, two upgrades, and none of them have points on them. No, I don't. Like here's, of, here's an example. I know, I had a whole bunch. Corner. That's the one that I have in my hand that okay. I was upset about. So, so neither of us gets victory points for upgrades. Mm -hmm. Now, dreams. Score some dreams. What you get? You got your dreams right in front of you. Yeah. Those aren't the ones that were in your hand, right? You scored all those? Yeah. Okay, yeah. just making sure. You're shady. I have eight points. Total? Mm -hmm. Okay, so give yourself eight points. You got some big ones. I've got eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't have some big ones. I have one big one. I have three, a five, two, and a one. Okay. So, next. Uh, dreams. That's it. That's it. What's our total, Brett? What's our total? <laughs> okay, give me a second. Do you want 23. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, it's, I'm tired. Here you it's go. 12 and 11, that's 23, 16, 21. Yeah! If I didn't mess up. Woo, but you did! But you did! But you did! What's your story if you didn't mess up? But you did. You would be but you did. One. But you did. So, that was Nightmare Cathedral. Great game. Great game. Great game. I just want to say even better beat that somebody. Siri beat you. And this I just is want to my say, first time playing. You, you couldn't beat you, a, beat me by two. you couldn't beat a random number generator. Mm -hmm. Just saying. I couldn't. Neither could you. You did worse than a, number gen than a random number generator. <laughs> Anyways, so that was Nightmare Cathedral. As you can see, like, uh, I'm going to try to, I hopefully, he ho did. hopefully I can edit this so, like, you you don't have to spend watch time watching reading cards. Yeah. But I really like this game. I, I do really, too. I really I feel enjoy like it. we're going to get into some heated fights, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, have, we probably have some arguments because those rules aren't clarified. Yeah. And you're like, I'm going to destroy you. And this Or you just read it wrong. But how cool is this thing? This is very cool. It's cool. And I like when the I do like the, the building of the forts as well. When the nightmares come out, like, uh, I feel the game does speed up. Like, it's toward the end. The nightmares come out, it's like the last 25% of the game. Yeah. But I like the way the feels to come out. Like, I controlled them more than you did, I think. Yeah. Um, but I like controlling the nightmares. And there's a variety of them. There's a bunch of them. There's one that's a little cat. That's cute. I like the cat. I think the cat's cute. I put him on top of the castle. Um, but yeah, so this is on GameFound. So if you want to check it out, it's time is running out. So we're going to put this video out on Sunday. I think there's only a few days left. If this looks like a game to be interested in, definitely check them out. Brittany, do you like this? Do I like do. This? I, I want to play again so I can crush it. I want to play this with more people. I enjoy it with two, though. Oh, you didn't like our game? No, I said I enjoyed it too. <laughs> but I want to try it with more people because it'd be more chaotic. Because we didn't battle be, a lot. Yeah, no, it'd be crazy. But I think I I might force people to battle more. Because I my strategy is I make you battle so you lose cards. Because I want you to spend your cards to... Or if you don't lose cards, you lose followers. So I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. You okay. might get... but no, if I, I get it. Put you against, but if I put you against Shadows you might win a good reward. Like, you did it to me, and that was like Christmas for me. But it was the worst that, thing ever. That turn was Christmas for me. If, that's that's if what that, won me If game. you didn't get that turn, I would have won. That turn was sure. like, Christmas! Devour, 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 get cards, <laughs> devour, devour, devour. Right. <laughs> that was great. All right, All right. Well, it's too soon. It's that too was soon it. To that was it for Nightmare <laughs> Cathedral. Check it out on Game Found. I think it's I think it's a lot of fun. Mind you, it's not a full review because we've only played it. This what? is actually <laughs> the only game that we've actually played. And uh, but I, I, but like I do it. want to play it again. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to play this again. All right, okay. that is it. Thanks, guys, for joining us. We will see you next week. Bye.